Right, let's talk about compound angles. So I'm talking about the type of cuts you can make um, with your mitre saw, um, where you are adjusting the uh, mitre here, and you're also adjusting the tilt of the blade or the bevel um, to create a, uh, a compound cut. So I'm dealing with a situation on a build at the moment where I have uh, two corners that meet. Rather than meeting at 90 degrees, they actually meet at 95 degrees. And to make that even more complicated, this piece here tilts at this at 15 degrees, and this piece here tilts at 30 degrees. So I need to work out the uh, adjustments that I make to my mitre saw so that I can make these two surfaces meet perfectly together um, on a single plane. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Right, so let's just talk about the shape that we're working with here. Uh, if we start with a simple cuboid like this, and we take the front face, the face closest to the camera, and we angle that towards the camera by 30 degrees. We take the side that's facing me and angle that back towards me by uh, 25 degrees. I then take this side and this side and angle those outwards by 15 degrees each side. And I then take this line and this line here and angle those outwards like this by five degrees. So that's the shape that I'm dealing with and that's the shape that I'm trying to work out the, uh, the compound angles of uh, what is gonna run down the sides for. So here we have that shape that I was just showing you on the, the little cuboid there. This is the side that's angled back towards us at um, 25 degrees. This uh, is the side that is angled outwards, outwards this way, this way, <laughs> um, at 15 degrees. And uh, this piece is also tapering forwards. So the, the other end of this box is narrower than this end. So it's tapered in by uh, five degrees. And uh, we are going to have a number of pieces, uh, slats, which are going up the side here to create the, um, the side of a, a box panel. And what we want is for, sorry, what we want is for our uh, pieces to come in here, um, snug up, nice and tight along there, and then we can trim this back piece off so that they, uh, they sit flush. But how do you go about working out the, uh, the compound angle to go in there? So there's two measurements we need to take across here. One is an angle here, and one is an angle uh, with it in this orientation. But in both cases, it's really, really important that you are parallel to this piece. Because remember, this is all sloping towards us. So we have to have the bevel gauge sloped as well. So it needs to be touching this or the same angle as this here, because this piece meets this at 90 degrees. start out by working out the mitre so when this is in the saw we're talking about how it's going to look how uh, the angle that it's going to cut across here and to do that we rest our bevel gauge along here again making sure it's flat on this piece and against this piece set the angle There we go, so you can see how that meets my test piece I've already cut. And then the other measurement is going to be one in this orientation here. I'm actually going to do it this way round because we've got more body here to rest on this flat surface. There we are. So that 87. Oh, I took the wrong piece, no wonder that looked around us. Yeah, there we go. So that measures up with the piece here. So I'll just show you quickly how to transfer those angles um, across to the uh, mitre saw. So here we are over at the mitre saw. Um, I, uh, the way I set the um, bevel um, for this is, I mean, if you look at that, it looks so close to 90. I think if you try and transfer that measurement across by eye, um, you're gonna struggle. So I'm gonna use one of these um, inclinometers. Um, start off by referencing against our base and making sure that the base is at zero degrees if it isn't just zero that first because you don't want to add the um, slope of the floor into any other measurements 
87.1 degrees. So 87.1 degrees. So that's the measurement we had set for the mitre. And um, I am actually just going to do this by eye. So I'm going to rest against the back edge. Okay. So that's dead straight. So let's cut a quick test piece. over uh, at the workpiece now and let's just put this up what do we think another one higher and we're going to trim all these little bits off and they're just going to butt up just perfectly. So that's how you can lay out and measure uh, some cuts on your mitre saw um, to have a compound cut that fits in a very difficult space um, with angles across uh, three different dimensions. Okay, I hope that's helpful.